Alors, ma coupe s'est changée. Moi-même, je suis en 1940, oui. It was a pleasure. When I was a child, walking by the White House, you know that traffic circle in Haiti? Whenever they put that flag up, you had to stop. Traffic stop, everybody stop. Right. And that's one of the best experiences I ever had in my life. That's what teach you to love and respect your country. That's the reason why we don't have a country that we don't, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have any respect for our country. That's why we're dealing with what we're dealing with now. Again, I want to say, I'm sorry for the sound system because they're giving us a little trouble and our sound is a little low. We enjoy it much louder than that. Okay? All right, so we're going to start going. What? President Biden, we need justice for President Jovenel Moyes. Straight to your ear. Um, today is the 7th of July. Today marks the anniversary. The unfortunate we have to be here for the anniversary of our loving president. The only person I really care about the Haitian people's problem. The only person I really care about Haiti. Okay, President Jovenel Moïse. Let's do a 60 seconds moment of silence. Everyone, please. 60 seconds moment of silence for President Moïse. Today is not. Today is officially one year anniversary of the terrorist attack on his life. Turn the music off, please. 60 seconds moment of silence. 60 seconds moment of silence, please. For our Late President Jovenel Moïse. All right, we good. Uh, may God bless President Moon's soul. He was a good man, the only person I really care, truly care about the hate. Uh, what's that, the 700 Club? People who were, the 700 Club, the religious channel. He said that Haitian people made a pact with the devil. That's why we get our independence. As I love America, and it pains me to say this, I love America. We have friends and family that went to war, lost limbs, fingers and legs eyes and die for this country if we die today okay and the united states never made a friend of us the united states still practice the same laws they were practicing when black people couldn't even walk down the street in this country these are the way they treat us when we go to Haiti when, when it comes to diplomacy. The orders came from right here in the White House. Okay? We are treated like trash because we don't know our value, because we let them treat us like trash. We are here in the name of Haitian Americans and Haitian in this country. We vote. We have a voice and we will be heard. And we will stand and we will not back down. The United States' main goal is to destroy us. 
I strongly believe that it pays for me to say this. Everything America does is we don't even have a sovereignty anymore, people. We do not make the choice what goes on in our country. All the decisions that's done are done right here. We have white people deciding for black people they don't give a damn about. We have something we call core group, United States put together. It's Brazil, Spain, Germany, England, the European Union. They all represent in the European Union, but they have additional members of the embassy, the ambassadors that represent. These are the people that make decisions for Haitian people. The people in Haiti don't have a voice. The man that assassinated the president, Aguilar Ali, he's one of the number one suspects. The United States, so our, our president of the United States, Joe Biden, went and shook the terrorist man's head. That destroyed and killed the Haitian people's dream of coming out of the trash. President Joe Biden shaking hands with terrorists. I believe as a young child growing up in this country, America stand for what's right. I believe, I used to believe, it's not the truth. Everyone can see, you don't have to look far when you look at the relationship America has with Haiti. It's hypocrisy, it's not democracy. They are here. And I strongly, again, in my heart, I believe the United States mission is to dissolve the Haitian state. Because each and every turn, the United States stand, stood, and always stand on the wrong side of history against what's right. Ukraine is important to the United States, but we're not. Our life, our country, it's been almost 10 years since kids children in Haiti has not really been able to attend school people, okay? From former president Michel Martini up to our late great president Jovenel Moise. The United States don't care about that. The United States Embassy in Haiti don't care about that. My, as I always say in everything I say, the United States Embassy in Haiti is a Trojan horse. The United States Embassy in Haiti stands for nothing but the destruction of the Haitian state. Since 1986, Haiti has not seen stability. Since 1986, Haiti been going down, 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 and God help us. Every time I say we cannot go any lower than that, it continues to sink into the abyss. love our people. We need to love our country. Country first before yourself. Country first before ourselves. As I love the United States of America, I don't love the United States of America to destroy Haiti. No. That's what they doing. Okay? I love America. I'll stand and I'll fight. And as I have my brothers among us here, we we'll fought for the United States. We will fight for Haiti too. Okay, as I have my sign, that my daughter's holding here, this sign is dear to me. I inherit this from the Jewish people. When they seek, they said, wherever they stand, they stay with Israel. That should be our motto. No matter where we stay, we should always stay with Haiti. Okay? That's the problem. We never stay with our country. Country first before yourself. Yes, sir. And as a child, I grew up in America, and I believe. The sacrifice for one. Freedom is not free. Somebody had to die to give you freedom. And I, and I am a firm believer of that. Okay? And no one's going to stop us. And we will not give up. We will keep pushing. Right? The few people that you see here, that's not it. It's growing. Remember, change does not start with the majority. Change starts with the very few that's running to brave against the difference that other people see that they're bringing and they should not be scared. And we are not scared. Our life are not our own anymore. My life belongs to Haiti. I'm here right now speaking to bring attention to this. 
We are Haitian American again. We are Haitian American and Haitians here. Okay? Haiti before all. Haiti before all. Before money. Before the visa. Yes, sir. Before the political asylum. Yes, sir. It seemed to be like our brothers and sisters saw Haiti out just so they could get political asylum to go to America, number one. Canada, number two. Yes, number three. And everybody else is not falling behind them. Okay? Brazil, Chile, wherever Haitians are. And that's the part that we've been having. We sold out our soul so we can have citizenship and residence in other countries. Okay, people, I don't know if you noticed that. Haitian people can live everywhere except for Haiti. That needs to change. We cannot be comfortable living abroad, but we can't live at home. Haitian people are comfortable. For young people, I'm going to say the Creole, I always say. I see a citizen to pay you, my citizen, I see. I hope you see, I see. There are very few of us that are here. We are here for one reason. We want America to free Haiti. Yes, yes. We want the United States to free Haiti. Yes. 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 Free our people, let us go. Yes. We're still in slavery. Yes. We don't have the chains around our ankles. Yes. But we are in chains. We don't have a right to, to freedom to decide our own fate of government. Yes. The United States is receiving all the decisions for the Haitian people. Yes. We need to keep the them out. States, the United States is so good to us since 1986. Yes. Haiti never went forward, only backwards. Yes. Before 1986, before we need the United to keep States them out. Was we used to have electricity. Listen, people, you might not believe this. In the 1980s, Haiti looked almost like Las Vegas. Beautiful, but light. Now, we don't even have power. We don't have running water. God bless. Thanks to America with that one. Because the United States policy against our people is to destroy us. Everything negative is what belongs to us. Everything that's so good is that's what belongs to us. Enough is enough. This is why you're here. The fight has to start right here in the, in the, in the international, in the United States of America. We want the United States to let our people go. The slavery system that they have, they use hunger as a way to control the people. Yes. Can you believe this, people? A tropical country like Haiti in the Caribbean. We buy rice from the United States of America. We buy rice from the United States of America. Okay? That's what we have to think for that. We have to think for the President Aristide and for the President Bill Clinton for us. The last thing that I received back before he left, after he left Haiti, should I say, so he could go back to Haiti, was he signed a contract with, the, with Bill Clinton in the White House to destroy our country, destroy our country's economy. Listen, America has a problem with the Haitian people at the border. America created the crisis to help the Haitian people on the border. Yes. If they don't have a home, we must open the door and let them come here because who made them come here? Listen, I don't want the Haitian people at the border anymore in you guys do. Haitian people should be in the country. But the United States government, the United States embassy, all they do is to destroy and bring down the Haitian government.